Why bother racking your brew? Whether it's mead, wine, cider, or beer, why rack it at all? Now, this question comes up every once in a while. Someone asks, and it's always kind of one of those things like we just take it for granted that, well, it's what you do. You, you rack it when it's done, right? But it got me thinking. And I believe the real reason that people started racking is from beer making. In beer, if you leave it on the lees too long or the sediment at the bottom of your fermenter, it's possible it's going to alter the flavor and it happens more quickly um, in weeks rather than months or even years when it comes to wine and mead. Now in wine there's a surly method where surly surly I think it's surly where they leave it on the lees and it actually is intended to flavor it a little bit. I do understand that in mead making it's not as critical. It takes a long time for it to have an effect. So why do we rack? Well we rack me personally, I do it because it helps to get rid of that sediment. If there's fruit in there, or anything like that, we rack it off of all of that. And now we have kind of a, a pristine or a, a closer to pristine um, environment to work with. So that way that can settle out and then we rack again. Now you might say, well, didn't you waste a racking by doing it twice? Maybe, maybe we did. I'm not 100% sure on that, but we've actually changed our system. We, we now, this is the way we do it. We make our brew, we let it ferment out. When it's done, we rack it. At that point, we will make adjustments as needed. You know, it usually sits for like a week, then we'll make adjustments. We'll add sweetening, we'll add acid, we'll, you know, whatever we need to do, we'll oak it. Then it'll sit like that for a while too, usually a week or two, three weeks, depending on what we're looking for. And then at that point, we do our tasting. Now we might then have to rack it again to pasteurize it or anything like that, but normally it's gonna sit for a while before we bottle. And that's something we didn't always do. We used to bottle and then let them sit. We found we were getting sediment in our bottles. So nobody really wants sediment in your bottles. I mean, do you want sediment in your bottles? I don't want sediment in my bottles. So we started letting them sit for a while. And I mean, like some of them sit for two, three months until we have four or five batch together. And then we have like a bottling day. We don't show it on camera most of the time because bottling day is really not that exciting, but I, I might make like a behind the scenes video or something just to show you guys what a bottling day looks like in our house. Probably not gonna be that exciting. It's usually just, you know, we're just standing around kind of talking to each other, but you know, I, I suppose there could be something interesting to show there. Um, but the point is that racking is super important but it's not important for the reasons that some people might believe. Um, also, please, 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 when you're racking, racking simply means, I should have covered this in the first 10 seconds, racking simply means to move from one vessel to another, okay? It doesn't include the method of that movement. Some people use very complicated pressure methods in kegs and it never touches oxygen, it just moves from one to the other. That's a little much for um, what we do on this channel. So we use an auto siphon, but whatever you do, please don't pour. That could be bad. You could be introducing oxygen. It's just not a good idea. An auto siphon works. A siphon in general is a great way to go if you don't have access to an auto siphon, but the auto siphon's like 20 bucks. And we'll have a link to one in the description of this video right here. Very, very convenient item to have. Works great, just a few pumps on the thing and it works beautifully well. We've been using them for years and we usually get a few years out of each one. So it's a very worthwhile investment. But that's the gist of racking. It's mostly just a, to keep it less unsightly, to keep sediment and floater stuff and things out of your brews. That's really the gist of it. So if you wanna go right from your primary fermentation into bottles, you're really not doing anything wrong. It's just, you have a greater chance of upsetting all that lees in the bottom and having it end up in your bottles. So that's really it. That's the worst thing that can happen. So that answers that question, sort of, kind of. So why do we rack? Just because it's what you do. It's part of brewing, keeps it a little bit cleaner. As always guys, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.